and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to kind of be getting back into the YouTube game. I know I've taken a, a major break and um, I just I just need it for my mental health uh, starting the new year, but I'm ready to get back into it and I'm excited to be sharing with you some new items that I have gotten for spring. I do want to get started with letting you know that this video is sponsored by Poppy Barley. I have some items that they sent over and I can't wait to share it with you because I think they're just like perfect for spring, especially spring, you're looking like lighter clothing, you know, <laughs> I'm like, here I am wearing black. For the most part, I tend to gravitate towards more a little bit lighter clothing, like some taupes, tans, whites, ivories. In case you're not familiar with Puppy Barley, they're a sustainable brand from Canada, female founded, and they just have absolutely like gorgeous items that are very capsule wardrobe ready. So if you're looking for stuff that is gonna be like timeless, gonna be able to transcend different seasons and you'll be able to wear it year after year, I think you'll really enjoy what Puppy Barley has to offer. One of the first things that I grabbed and I absolutely like gravitated towards when I was looking through the Puppy Barley website was this purse. This is the medium a day to night purse and I absolutely love this color. The day to night purse is a crossbody and it's roomy enough for just about everything that you need. So I have it here in the color Biscotti Pebble. It also comes in blacks and they do have a limited edition. They have a nice like deep green and also a brown one that is called Hazelnut Pebble and it's a little bit darker but I just really liked this lighter tan color. I tend to get darker purses for some reason so having this in my wardrobe I think it's just like a timeless purse that you can wear year after year, year round and it's so easy. Obviously I love cross bodies because being a mom of two is like you need all the hands that you can get Okay, next up another item that I think everybody should have in the wardrobe is just like an assortment of belts because I feel like whenever you wear a belt it just kind of like completes the outfit this is the polish belt and it's just a thin leather belt it has this rounded buckle for like the perfect amount of flair it's not super flashy so this will be a great item that you can wear for work as well anytime i think about a workwear type of belt i think of like thinner belts and so i think this one is perfect as well it has the gold buckle um there is also a black and there is also like a cognac type of brown color they call it lion suede there's a numerous sizing that you can get there are five closures as well so the smallest is 26 inch and then it goes 28 29 30 32 all the way to 46 inches I felt like this belt was so cute and the reason I also got this color is because it matches my next item from Puppy Barley I'm excited to share and I'm actually wearing them right now so I'm gonna have to see if I can like take them off there we go. Okay, so it's these shoes right here. I've been dying for some Mary Janes. So whenever I noticed that they had the Mary Janes in the same color as the belt, I hopped on that as well. So this is the modern day Mary Jane, and it's just a little bit more modernized look to the traditional Mary Janes. What I love about this is there is no need to break in the shoes. Usually with leather shoes, sometimes it can be a little bit stiff and obviously they start to stretch out a little bit or get more comfortable as you wear them. This one is super soft and it has a little bit of a heel. So I have flat feet so sometimes like a small little heel like this just kind of helps me especially if I'm going to be doing a lot of walking or a lot of standing but these are super super comfortable and they're so versatile so you can wear them with jeans or if you have like a nice little summer dress you can also wear it with those i like to pair them with like a cropped jean so that you can kind of highlight the shoe and then it also has this elasticated strap so again super comfortable they also have numerous sizing so the smallest is size 5 and it goes all the way to size 12. I just really enjoyed these shoes because usually like in the spring and summer I go from mainly sandals and tennis shoes and like this is kind of like an in-between so it's still casual but if I'm looking for something that's a closed-toed shoes that is not like a sneaker this is a great addition to any spring capsule wardrobe I feel like it's just an item that you're gonna wear again and again so those are my items from Poppy Barley as always all the items that I'm gonna be sharing with you today are gonna be down below so that you can shop them. So let's go ahead and get started with the next series of items, which is my latest Abercrombie <laughs> haul that uh, was a little surprising. Some of the items like, I feel like with Abercrombie, like unless I go into the store and like try on a bunch of stuff, like I'm always kind of disappointed. So I got four pairs of pants. I've got different types of bottoms because I'm looking for just like some nice bottoms. I want some like tailored pants. I'm also looking for some springy type of denim. And then I just grabbed these like elasticized pants because I just been like really into things that are not like 
pulling and tugging and like squeezing. So I am dying <laughs> to get myself some sort of slack that is like a little bit of a wider leg. I hear all the rumblings about the tailored pant, the Sloan pant from Abercrombie. And I have gone into the store and tried it on and it just like was like a mess. Like the pleats were just not working for me, right? Anyway, so I've been kind of working out and I was like, maybe they'll fit a little bit better now that I have been working out and all that. So I went ahead and just ordered like all of this stuff I got online. So I went ahead and grabbed my usual size 28. This is a six um and i got it in this like really nice color it's like a beige color and i just like really liked this color for especially for spring right so i actually got this one in the long which whenever i had tried these pair of pants previously in store i got the regular size and it was like i was flooding and i just was like this is horrible this is not a good look so this time i got the size long in my regular size 28 and i love the length because it goes all the way down. I love how that looks. For someone who is 5'6", I just didn't think that I would need a long, but just to let you know, if you're like 5'6", five, 5'7", five, you might wanna go ahead and get a long, especially if you're gonna be trying to wear heels with them. Uh, but what I didn't like is this did not fit. Now, here is the caveat that I have for you. So these pair of pants I got in regular, just the Sloan Taylor pants. Now I also grabbed the Curve Love and Curve Love usually has a little bit more like room around the hips and the butt. And so I loved the way that the Curve Love in the same size 28, I love the way that that fit. That actually allowed me to clasp it because these did not clasp at all. But I guess I overlooked getting the long in those as well. So I got the regular and obviously they're too short. So. Clearly, I have to return these two because, you know, one is long enough, but the uh, it doesn't fit around my waist, and the other one fits around my waist, but it's too short. So there's my dilemma. Um, I'm still going back to the drawing board. For some reason, these Sloan pants are just not working for me. I think I just need to, like, abandon ship and just, like, be done with it. But I just, like, really like the material. I love the color, and it just... I'm going to make it work. So we're going to make it work. Okay, next up, I grabbed this pair of jeans. I've used this exact pair as some of my spring capsule wardrobe, like, collages that I put on my blog and on LTK. And I just, like, really loved, like, styling this type of jean. It's a little bit more of, like, a, I would say, what is this, like, a beigey tan type of jean so it's different from your typical blue jeans and i just thought it was like really cute i don't really like like stark white jeans for spring and summer i like it to be a little bit more on the warmer side so egg crew is really nice but i thought that this was um a different alternative and i thought it was such a cute pair of jeans so i got this in the size 28 they're actually regular and they do go all the way down as expected um they were a little bit snug even though i did get the curve love so these are the high rise the 90s relaxed jeans so if you're looking for something that's a more of like a straight leg not too wide leg but kind of like an in between i think you'll really enjoy these i feel like maybe i should have sized up i don't feel like it was like to the point where i can put on the jean but it was a little snug and it wasn't very comfortable. I don't subscribe to the fact that you need to fit your clothes. Your clothes should fit you. But the thing is that I have sized up in these. I remember like a few months ago, I went to Abercrombie and I grabbed the next size up. And there was just too much bulging here in the crotch area. Like it was great on the waist, but like the crotch area, it was just like, it just it was not flattering at all. So it's kind of like an in-between between this one and the next size up, which I want to say was a 29. just feel like maybe these jeans are just not fitting. I do have some 90s straight jeans from Abercrombie, but they're the asymmetrical um, closure. And those are also a little bit snugger. Now, the thing with Abercrombie jeans, they're like a little bit more of a true jean. So the more that you wear them, the more they kind of stretch out. But I just felt like it was just not a comfortable fit and I did not want to be uncomfortable. So I think these are also going back. So again, I'm on my fitness journey, so don't really want to commit to the size 29. So I'm just going to continue on my journey of feeling good and like loving my body. And you know, a few months down the road, we'll revisit these jeans. But as of right now, these are going back. Okay, next up, I got these like wide leg pants um they're kind of like 
what you would expect like a linen pant to, to be, but it's not linen, it's like a different material. But it is very comfortable, they are very wide leg. So the rise is ultra high and the leg is ultra wide. Now ultra high to me, I would think ultra high is like, kind of like where your ribs start. Um, and I don't feel like I could put this there because then it, it would be too um, high off the ground. So although I hate, like I cannot stand dragging my pants, um, I just feel like this one, as long as I put it right where like my belly button was, then it will be okay um, where it's just kind of like skimming the floor. But as far as like ultra high, I don't think me being 5'6", I can do this ultra high up here. I got it in a size medium and again, because they are stretchy and they're just like this wide leg, they're just like very comfortable. So I don't feel like a small would have been better. Uh, but again, it does have like that oversized feel, but I feel like this with like a cute like little crop top um, or even like a little micro tee, those little like fitted tees that are in right now. I think that would look so cute, especially for spring and summer, but I really like these black ones. The good thing is that with this type of material, I mean, I can't compare it to a different color, but there's definitely no see-through. So I know sometimes with like linen pants or these type of like summery pants are a little bit thinner. And most of the time it's, they're kind of sheer so you can see through, but with this one, you, you really can't. And I just feel like these are just like super, super comfortable and i'm really digging like these like flowy wide legs for spring and summer so really cute i wanted to share those with you as well i think this is a one of the pairs that i might be keeping because i just they're just so comfortable it's like kind of like pajama pants that you can wear out in the streets yeah those are the four items that i got from abercrombie again i'm on a mission to get some more pants um even though we are going to warmer weather i felt like the sloan tailored pants are like not as uh like a little bit more airy so they'll be like more season appropriate for the warmer months but i have yet to find the fit that works for me so i think the next one which whenever i go into the store to return these i think i'm just gonna go ahead and try this my last time i'm gonna go ahead and try the curve love sloan pant in long and then we'll see how that works. And I will keep you posted. So anyways, that is all I have for you today. Again, I'm going to go ahead and link everything that I shared with you today on the description down below. Let me know if you have any of these items and your thoughts on them. I know people have told me different things on Abercrombie. Some people love them. Some people can absolutely hate them. Um, again, I'm kind of in between. There's some things that I have gotten that I really like, and there's some things that I'm just like, this is not working out for me. So, but anyways, we'll get there. Um, in the meantime, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it if you help me out and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna try to get back into my schedule. I've been feeling a lot better since the new year, and I really just want to create and share. And so, yeah, uh, we'll get there. But anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll chat soon. Bye.